Hello and welcome to another episode of Hall of Pet. I'm actually really enjoying YouTube and everyone is super nice here and I hope in the future I would be able to post more and more videos on YouTube but today's topic is actually about storage and I know everyone is struggling with it especially if you game a lot or if you have a lot of videos you edit you work on it all of that right because I have the exact same issue. I have way too many games I haven't even played with or a lot of videos I don't even have time to delete. So it all piles up, which means not enough storage. And which means I just delete so I can download more things. And that's why Crucial was so nice enough to send over two T500 Pro 4 terabyte SSD so I can upgrade and I will take you throughout the whole thing and teach you how to upgrade a PC SSD a laptop SSD and a PS5 SSD which is super easy by the way so let's get started shall we so we'll be starting with my PC you should remove the GPU first to get to the NVMe slots by unscrewing and unplugging and make sure you open the PCIe latch so you don't break anything now I already had one terabyte, so I'll be adding it to the lower NVMe slot right underneath the main and add the four terabyte instead. And don't forget to remove the plastic from the heatsink. Make sure you match the teeth of the SSD to the slot and wiggle it in. As you see, just be very gentle and careful. Then you add your heatsink and GPU and everything else. Now to the PS5. It's so easy actually. All you have to do is remove the front plate by pulling forward and out because they're like little hooks. Also PS5 and PS5 Slim are alike. You just unscrew the SSD shield and add the SSD with heatsink in there by wiggling just like the rest and make sure you screw it in. Then you go ahead and put everything back as you removed it. Now to the laptop, simple and easy. Unscrew the back plate, all laptops open kind of the same. Some laptops actually have flex cables that connect to the back plate, so always remove it carefully so you don't rip anything off. Make sure you always unplug the battery to avoid shorting out the components, locate the SSD and upgrade it with whatever SSD you want, and that is all. Super easy, right? Let me know what you guys want to see next or if you have any questions, comment down below. Like and subscribe please. Thanks for watching.